Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Thousand ones, empaths, you don't need to take this devaluation from the narcissist seriously, right? You gotta understand the reason why they done this to you, right? When they first laid eyes on you, right? It become very apparent in their minds that you're way beyond their level, right? They knew this about you. You made them feel like shit without you even lifting a finger. Just by in your natural essence of who you are, in the way that you operate, in the person that you are, the good person that you are, the person with good intentions, you made them feel like shit. Because remember, these narcissists that are involved in your life have inflicted pain in other people's lives, and it does live with them. It's not that they regret, it's a self-absorbed regret. It doesn't make them feel comfortable. They know they've got a long history of causing destruction in people's lives, and they know that they're not on your level. They know you're a good person. They know you're a kind person. They know you're a loving person, right? So you make them feel like nothing, right? Especially if, not especially, but if you have a belief system, say, you know, you believe in God or you believe in the universe or you believe in karma or you believe in a higher self or whatever your belief system is. And it, and it, and it conducts you to have certain morals and principles, right? This, this is why I'm saying it doesn't just necessarily have to be God. But if you have morals and principles, right, and you have a belief system that keeps you in check in into being a good person and... You know, like they do, they'll start mirroring you and acting like that's also who they are. You know, they've also got morals and principles. But really, in ret like in, in, in not in retrospect, but in, in, in reality, sorry, in reality, this makes them feel like nothing. You see, the, the, the reason why a narcissist devalues you is because they felt devalued throughout the whole relationship, you know? You could go to work and you leave them at home and you say, like, you leave them at home, you go to work and they'll feel devalued because you're going to work. You know, th th these people are seriously fucked up. You could have just gone to work, gone to the office, gone to the building site, gone and done your daily, your daily duties, you know, to, 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 to bring food home for your family or whatnot and... In their own minds, they're feeling, feeling devalued of this. They're feeling less than of this. They're feeling like inferior, you know? This is what you've got to understand about the devaluation. They feel like you're devaluing them. When you talk to them, they feel like you're talking down to them. Because they know that you are a good person. They know you are a loving person. They know you are an authentic person. They know you are a true person. And they know they're not on your level. And they're not, they're not that. They're not true. They're not authentic. They're not loving. They're not kind. So your words hit harshly. Right? To them. It hurts them. Just you being your authentic self. Not necessarily even saying anything derogatory. Not necessarily saying anything to put them down. Just you being you makes them feel devalued, right? So the narcissist has love-bombed you at this point. The narcissist has got their hooks into you at this point. And the reason why they start, they, you know, this is, a, this is a, a, a reaction to them, you know? They're reacting. They feel like they're being abused. They feel like they're, they feel inferior. So they want to drag you down to their level, Right? And they'll try it in the most horrible, horrible ways to make you get dragged down to their level, right? They can say things to you to hurt your feelings, you know? They could compare you and triangulate you with someone else. They could do all sorts of things to try and make you feel less than and less worthy, right? And ultimately, their main objective and their main reason for wanting to drag you down and devalue you is to get fundamental control over you, right? Because initially, 
going back in retrospect to the beginning, right? Looking back in retrospect to the beginning when you when they first laid eyes on you, they knew you wasn't on their level. It was very apparent and clear to them that you were way beyond their level, right? So they had to trick you and put on the mask and make out they're on your level, on your page, and that this that the other. But they knew that they couldn't control you like the way they want to control you. They knew they couldn't do this. These dusty weirdos knew that they could not control you like the way they want to control you. So they had to chip away at you bit by bit. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It'll take two seconds at a time. Just like this video has shown up for you. Please press the like and the subscribe button to help it show up for someone else to help with the algorithm. Thank you very much. But look, they needed to chip away at you. They needed to drop you down a peg or two. They needed to bring you down. That's ultimately their agenda, you know? You could have just been loving to them, pure to them, kind to them, generous to them, supportive to them, loving to them, and they want to devalue you in any which way that devaluation occurs, you know? Whether that's calling you derogatory things, whether that's making insults towards you, whether that's stonewalling you, giving you silent treatment, giving you know, trying to inflict pain on you, you know, devaluing you. Like, they, 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 they needed to bring you down, Right? So you've got to understand, you can't take these dusty weirdos seriously. No matter what they said, they may have said the most hurtful things. These things that they say, right? These things that they do and they say can scar your mind, right? And you need to know that these dusty weirdo narcissists, right? They're out there to scar your mind. They, 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 they wanna, they, they're doing this as well. For a premeditated plan for whenever they discard you or go on with a new supply or whatever. Right. They they want to leave your mind scarred. So, you, you know, you're traumat. you got trauma in your mind. You're scarred in your heart and soul by the words that were spoken, by the actions that were done to you. Right. They want you to, to, to ruminate about these things. Right. For it to affect you. This is what narcissists that are involved in your life will do. I've heard of narcissists involved in people's lives. You know, I've seen this and they do this. I've, I've heard about it time and time again. You know, if, if, if even if, for example, you cut a narcissist off that was involved in your life, right? And you tell them to come and collect their things. They'll leave things around your house like um, they'll leave certain clues around your house. So when you go around, you'll see these things. And that's a form of devaluation. They'll try and humiliate you, try and leave things around to try and scar your mind, heart and soul. You know, they'll do. <laughs> These people are fucked up. The things that they do is fucked up. Right. They... And the thing is, right. What you've got, the, the way when you come across a narcissist acting in these certain ways or doing these certain things, they didn't just think of this thing overnight. You know, times that you were laying together, you know, going to bed, having a romantic evening, chilling out, lying down, watching TV, relaxing, and you're just there with your partner, loving them and caring for them. You know, going through their mind was a way to fuck up your head, right? They want to send you crazy. They want to send you insane. And the thing is, if you try and talk about these certain given things, these devaluation, these devaluations that happen to you, these little clues that they left around to try to fuck your head up, right? People are going to actually call you crazy. People ain't going to understand it. But they do these certain things, right? They do these certain things to mess with your head, right? So what it is, is, you know, it's all about control in, in essence, right? They wanted to control you throughout the relationship and they want to control you after the relationship's ended. Right. And the way that they go about this is using this devaluation tactic because throughout the relationship, it starts to make you feel less than than them. Right. Starts to make you feel mixed, starts to make you question your own, your own self. Right. Starts to make you doubt your own abilities, starts to make you doubt your own self. They might triangulate you with other suppliers. They might triangulate you with other people. It might start making you doubt yourself. And they're getting control over you and leading till after the relationship's all been said and done. You've gone east, they've gone west. However, it ended discard, reverse discard, or you even cut them off because they've become too toxic. You're going to be traumatized and scarred by the memories of what they've done to you through this devaluation. 
So what I suggest you do, right, is don't take them fucking seriously. Don't take these narcissists that are involved in your life seriously. They felt like you were devaluing them the whole time. They tried to bring you down to their level. They knew they couldn't speak to you eye to eye. They needed you down. They needed to drag you down. Right? They needed to drag you down. They felt humiliated. Inferior. They, they had an inferiority complex. The whole relationship. They always felt less than. Right? They always felt less than. In all aspects. In the way you look. In the way you talk. In the way... You, your heart, in the way, in your heart, in your soul, in everything about you, they felt less than, they felt devalued, right? So they had to get control. They had to try and get control. They had to assert dominance over you, whichever way that's possible, you know? Devaluation can come in many forms, right? Whether, like I said, it's a derogatory comment towards you. Right? Trying to bring you down. Whether it's triangulation. Comparing you with another supply. Comparing you with another person. Trying to make you feel inferior. Right? It could come in the form of saying nothing at all. Like them giving you silent treatment. Or stonewalling you. And they're trying to devalue you. Make you feel less than. Make you feel not worthy to be spoken to. You know, devaluation and humiliation can come in many forms. And that's their agenda. That's their fucking agenda, right? That's what they are. And you know what? When you see these patterns, you don't need to be hurt. Why the fuck should you be hurt? Why should you be hurt over it? This is someone who's put some serious fucking effort and thought into trying to fucking scar your heart and mind and, get in, and fuck up your head, right? That's what it is. They put some serious, serious effort into trying to mess with your mind, you know? Like I said, you know, narcissists, for example, leaving certain things around your house. Yes, they're hoovers, they're indirect hoovers, but they're also can be like remembrance things of, 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 or something sig signifying something about you. You know, they could leave certain things. Oh, that's not important. I've left that behind. They'll, they'll do certain things like that. Right. And I've heard this from, from, from a few survivors that have gone through it. You know, I've said that they're hoopers, but they also do, they also put a spin on things to make you, you know, think about them. They don't want to be forgotten. So they're leaving little, little tokens around to make you remember them. But it's a form of a devaluation. It's to make you have that constant reminder of them because they'll do this in a variety of way, ways, you know. Um, this is what they do. You know, I've heard of victims of narcissistic abuse. You know, narcissists has packed up their stuff, right? Narcissists that was involved in their life has packed up their stuff, and they've 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 left certain things in in the in the in the luggage. You know, that that are the narcissists. You know, they might they might leave something in there that belongs to another supply, for example. You see? So they might pack up your stuff. Just for an example, they might pack up your stuff, right? S send your stuff to you, your, your, your luggage and that, or your belongings and that. But they'll, they'll insert a, an item of clothing that belongs to another supply. So when you, when you get your, cl your clothes and your luggage, you unpack it, and you're like, hang about, whose fucking clothes are these? This isn't mine, you know? <laughs> And then you're thinking, oh shit, they were cheating. Oh shit, they were doing that. Like, they could have gone and just fucking bought those fucking clothes online, you know, or from a shop, you know, just to fuck with your head. You remember, they put sincere, they're so fucking serious. They put so much fucking effort into trying to mess with your head. That's their ultimate goal. They want control over you, right? So take it as what it is, right? If you see, you got to look at energy. You're dealing with someone who has put a lot of energy, a lot. Just, just take it back to basics now, right? If 
Forget about being hurt. Forget, just put that all to one side, what they've done. Put that all to one side, the devaluation, the humiliation. Put that all to one side. You've got two people. Well, you, the empath, and the other person is the narcissist that was involved in your life. And this narcissist that was involved in your life put so much energy and effort into trying to drag you down. If you were low, if you were already a low value person, if you was a low value person already, they wouldn't have even gone to you in the first place. Plus, they wouldn't need to drag you down, right? So what you can see is all of this energy and focus is about dragging you down because you are on another level, right? And just because you've gone through the process of this devaluation, right, doesn't make you less of a person unless you let it, right? Unless you let the words that were said, unless you let the little things that they've done to you, the, the, the triangulation or whatever they've done to you, unless you let that affect you, right, then you're going to be hurt. But if you take it as what it is, you're a high value person, man or woman, you're high value, right? These people were never on your level and they felt like they need to fuck your head up. They wanted to just scar your heart, mind and soul because they're horrible, disgusting, despicable, dusty weirdos that are not happy with someone being content. You see, like I said, on one side of things, all you was trying to do was love them, be kind to them, be generous to them, be pure to them, be supportive to them. That's all you was trying to do. You had no agenda. You had no motive. You were just being transparent, honest and true. And on the other side, you got someone that was thinking when they were laying next to you about ways to fuck your head up. Screw them. You don't need them. You know, you don't need them. And any, like... Anything that they, they try to say, they're going to try and play on your insecurities, right? You know, if you if you opened up and was transparent about insecurities you have or anything like that, they thought, yeah, that's, that's, that's gold. They can use that against you. They can make you feel less than, you know, this is what they'll do, you know. This is what they do, you know. They're sick. Plus... If they triangulated you, like even triangulation, you know, they will like devalue you and devalue you and devalue you and devalue you before they even bring triangulation in the equation. Triangulation is like the icing on the cake. You know, they've already gone through whole, like loads of stages of devaluation to even feel comfortable to start triangulating you. You see, that's what they'll do. Then they'll triangulate you and you're so like in your feelings and so like... Not, not who you was in your former self, not full of light and stuff, that you won't even react in a, in, in, in a natural way to triangulation, you know? So just understand why these narcissists use devaluation. The reason is because they want control of you and they always felt less than in you. They always felt like you was on top of them, right? They always felt like you was better than them in every which way, right, they always felt that, so they were trying, this was their, like, reaction, this was their outburst, this is what it was, and they put a lot of thought into it, if you done the same thing and started to put a lot of thought throughout the whole relationship into devaluing someone, you would have probably come up with a lot more hurtful ways to devalue them than what they'd done to you, Right, that's just because you've got the ingenuity or the the mindset, you know, or the ability, you know. But you, that's not your net. That's not your nature. You didn't want to do that, you know. But they did. They wanted to make you feel like nothing. These things are not true, right? What they said about you is not true. Don't let it play on your heart, mind, and soul. Release it. Release it. Release it. Right. Fuck them. Screw them. Right. <laughs> Whatever they said, did, you know, whatever they done, forget about it, you know. You are high value and they always felt an inferiority complex about being by your side, around you, by your side. They always felt less than in you. They always did. They never made you aware of this, but they always felt less than. 
So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like a one-to-one -one session or you'd like to join the end of the month empath group meeting, you can find the link in the description box. If you'd like a one-to-one -one consultation via email, you can always reach out with the crisis email support. The link will be in the description box. And if you'd like to know more about life's not working out for the narcissist's favor, karma, click this video here. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.